Hi, welcome to our video. Today we're going to demonstrate this Midwest Automation Nautilus model wet belt grinder. Um, currently wired for 480 volts, stainless steel pan. Um, it's got a built-in blower on the top. Um, lots of features that I'm going to show you here in just a second. This machine comes with lots of documentation, has a complete engineering manual, operating manual, actually has a manual for the separate coolant system, which we'll talk about in a moment, along with schema electrical schematics, two sets of electrical drawings for the machine itself, um, has automatic lubrication system and instructions for that, and also um, installation and operation for the blower motor that's mounted on top of the machine. Lots of documentation with this machine. Um, stepping over to the control panel, when you first power the machine up, this is the screen that you get, enter. The e-stop reset button always comes on in the beginning. You can hit the enter button, brings you to the home screen in setup mode. We hit our e-stop reset. Now she's ready to make some adjustments so we can grind our first part, supposedly. Um, one of the first things we're gonna do is we can set the conveyor speed up or down. It's set in feet per minute. You can increase it to whatever you want or decrease it, whatever you'd like. Then you can set up your part thickness for the parts you're gonna grind. Go into that, select the size, say 3.22, enter. And then you'll see the operating gap. Oh, once I hit the go button, we'll go down to what the part thickness is. And now you're set there. Now you go into the setup mode and you can turn your air knife blower on and the coolant system on. They're both kind of noisy, so I'll just demonstrate them for a moment. There's your air knife blower on the outtake side of the machine to dry your parts as they come out. And also the coolant system. The coolant system has a, uh, a coolant pump, of course, and um, also an automatic uh, conveyor paper advance system. And that's just that, and that's kind of loud because there's no coolant in the pump right now. Anyway, go back to the home screen. We're gonna change from setup mode to run mode. And then we can, we always have to start the infeed conveyor first. That's running at 16 feet per minute. That's what we just set it to. And then we're gonna start our abrasive head. After that, it's all automatic. You just feed your parts through. They come out the other side. If you had the coolant running, the spray bars would be spraying coolant on your parts as they go through. You can't really see that, although there are some photos of the inside of the machine on the website. Also at the end, there is an air knife and the coolant system is back here. This is the outtake side. The air knife is up in here blowing on the parts. A couple of the rollers are actually chain driven to help the parts come out. The ones that aren't spinning are regular idler rollers. Um, depending on what you set your gap at, the rollers on top are spring loaded to keep tension on the parts as they come out. And here's the coolant system I spoke of earlier. It's got the conveyor advance and the pump. The light comes on when the conveyor's running, but it's not running right at the moment. That's about it. Um, Thanks for watching our video.